it's possible to create a table apart from let's go to the create tab apart from using the table design we can also create a table by directly type keying data in a blank table schema so let's click on table and here it automatically creates an id field for you let's add our first field teacher name so i can choose clicking the drop down here i can choose like short text for my teacher name and the field is highlighted field one so I guess call it teacher name. Then I want to add another field, uh, a number field. Uh, yes, active. Another field again, date and time for date of birth. Date of birth. And then the course the teacher teaches, which will um, let me let me use a yes or no field here to say whether to de depict whether the teacher is active or not then let's look for another field again for let's use uh, a number field this time um, let's use it for uh, speciality at times of teachers who teach multiple courses now when I go into this table and I begin keying data, the auto number for the ID will, will auto increment. So the first teacher is Mr. Philip, Philip um, Manza. Number of years active is two. The date of birth, since I chose date, it will be a date picker. Years active was a yes or no, so it's Boolean. It's either one or the other. And speciality, he teaches two courses, and that's how I'm, I've just created the table. If I want to save this table, right click on the tab, click on save, and I'm going to call this TBL, which is short form for table, table teachers. And this table has been saved. We can right click on this tab or go to the view design mode to look at. The design of the table and you can see that the system has automatically um, entered the field names that we chose and then the, the data types I don't usually use this method because I don't like my field names to have spaces in them but that's how it is created so now we know how to create our tables in two ways using the normal entering data directly into a table and then using the table design and the initial first way we did was we used the import external data and we used the import menus to import data into our system. So this is how to create and manage tables.